What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for stopping by. We're going to keep on dropping videos every two days. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers now and I can't wait to be able to give away a bigger prize this time. The 500 sub giveaway was great and it came fast, but for the 1,000 giveaway, I want to do something a bit bigger. I still haven't come up with a perfect idea for the giveaway, but I've got a lot of people asking me for a lot of different things. I'm going to try and find the most popular idea and then I'm going to choose that for the 1,000 sub giveaway. So if you haven't already, please subscribe please like and please leave a comment and let's get on with the video. Today I'm going to be talking about how the Chinese New Year holiday will affect your dropshipping business. So for the guys that aren't already aware, there is a Chinese New Year holiday in China they take on February the 16th this year. So in just over a week or so, AliExpress is essentially shutting down. So all your Chinese suppliers, they all close for at least one week for Chinese New Year. So that means from February the 16th for about at least a week, you won't be able to ship any orders through AliExpress. Now some suppliers take even longer so if you have any best selling products that you sell the majority of in your store i'd actually personally contact the supplier yourself ask for their dates ask for when they're back in just so you know what's going to be going on there's not a specific date that they start and finish on for the holiday it's kind of up to the supplier but it's usually around a week also when they get back from that week off it's a lot slower for a week or so they have a lot of orders to catch up on so don't expect usual delivery times and production times because they have so much backed up and it's going to be slightly delayed. So how do we get around this? I would never personally stop trying to sell for two weeks or three weeks. There's several different things you can do to work around it to make sure you're not getting any cancelled orders because of like delivery times and stuff. So there are a couple options you can take here. Either you edit the product description and the shipping services advised on your website to state that it will take longer. So instead of five to 10 working days, maybe put 20 to 30 working days. So when the customer orders, they see that on the description before they order. So that's one way to get around it. But still, you're never going to be 100% sure when that supplier is coming back to work. You're never going to be completely in the know for when that product is going to get to the customer. Shipping is already a major issue with dropshippers anyway because supplies are very slow and shipping times can be a bit of a nightmare. So I would always recommend upping the delivery time estimated on the product description just so it's in front of the customer whilst they're ordering. It means they've got no reason to cancel or charge back when it's been a few days longer than they expected and it means you're covered in that sense for the refunds. Now the other option you can do is build up the people that you're wanting to order. So if you're using my method of gaining sales, which only the people on my mentorship program will be doing because no one else is tapping into Instagram the way that I tap into it. If you're using the method that I am, I would collect as many people and get as many people ready to order as possible. Tell them that the store is getting some website work done, say that there's some design work being done for the website, something like that for the website not being live. Just put the website on the password page with Shopify. It means that no customers can get the front page of it. And then build up the customers waiting to order. So if you built up a few customers every single day that was ready to order, and you took two weeks without making any sales, imagine when you're allowed to finally push them to the website, tell them the website's up, and then maybe even give them a discount for waiting. Then you've got all those sales that will suddenly come in, it will boost your store back up, and you're not gonna have any problems with late deliveries because AliExpress is gonna be back up and running. So yeah guys, there are the two options you can kind of go with. Either edit the product description to advise of the longer wait. You're still gonna have to risk returns and refunds and chargebacks because it does take a long time. And as you know, customers can be a nightmare when it comes to delivery times and chargebacks. So yeah, either edit the product description so they're aware of the delivery delays or pause the store, build up the customers wanting to order and ready to order. When suppliers are back working, put the store live, send out a message to all the people waiting, give them a discount to thank them for waiting and then all the sales will roll in that same day. So don't stress, don't be too worried about it. I mean, it is a nightmare and it is a, it is a real pain for us as drop shippers that we have to go through a few weeks struggling a little bit harder with delivery dates than usual but it's not the end of the world and everyone has gone through it for the last few years that they've been drop shipping and it's not going to make or break your store at all it's just the way that you handle it it's the way you deal with it so go through those two options choose which one you think works best for you in the way that you generate sales and choose one and apply that to your store so guys just quickly i have released an instagram ebook it's with four simple steps to success so as you know, I talk a lot about Instagram and the way that I use it, the way that I leverage it, that not many people on here are doing at all. If you look on YouTube for a dropshipper explaining how to use Instagram to make sales with no ads, you'll probably not find anything. 
So take advantage of that ebook. I'll put the link in the description below. It's on a big sale price at the moment. A lot of people have already jumped on it and grabbed it. So I'd use that just for some simple, four simple steps to break down for yourself, to be able to gain yourself some value with Instagram, to be able to push sales through Instagram and grow on Instagram. And also my mentorship program is almost at capacity now. A lot of people have jumped on it. A lot of people have got started with me. Some people are already seeing results and some people are still in store preparation and stuff. For everyone on the program, thank you for joining it. Thank you for taking the risk. And together, we're going to make sure 2018 is your year. That's 100% going to be happening. I only want people on the program that are willing to put in the work, put in the effort and not give up. So bear that in mind if you're thinking of joining the program. I want you to be someone that will take risks and someone that will reap the rewards once you put in the hard work. Now get yourself out of the 9 to 5. Get yourself living the dropship e-com lifestyle. Working your own hours, making your own money and living the life that you've always wanted to live. Freedom is wealth, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Just a quick breakdown of the Chinese New Year nightmare that you can hopefully resolve and that you should not let ruin your dropship brand. If you haven't already, like I said, guys, please subscribe, please like, leave any comments. It will really help support the channel. We're growing at a really good speed at the moment and we're aiming for that 1000 subscriber giveaway, hopefully coming up very soon. And yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.